Vaya. Vaya vie. Oh, no, we a cool. Kupos, kupa shebe mo, lutso la kamo lele. Okay, chigisa sfasha wa hanya ni, utemo. Okay, mashwa wa abe kamera ne. My name is Doka Shomani. I'm a visual creative and a writer. Primarily, I am a photographer, documentary and street photography, and I also work in television as a production manager, producer and director. I think, man, for me, documentary photography is a non-imposing medium of photography where your gig as the photographer is to tell the story as is unfiltered without having preconceived ideas of what you want from it, you know? Because half the time when I go into projects, I know the topic, I know the subject, but I don't know what I'm gonna photograph. I don't know how I'm gonna photograph it, right? So it's this raw and honest and filtered medium of photography that tells people's stories in the most honest way. Okay. Perfect. Today I was shooting a series called uh, Flowers for Sheila, right? So Sheila's day is a day that was birthed during apartheid times where domestic workers were given the day off on Thursday, right? And because most of them at the time were migrant laborers, they didn't have families to go back to, or even when they do go home, it's lonely at home, right? So they found sanctuary through the church. And obviously it was also a day that they could only go to church in the week, right? But the church itself started, started representing something beyond just religion for them. It became a sisterhood, it became therapeutic for them. It I watch this on home. Aye, 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 aye. My hanya, you fell. Again, hold As it morphed over the years, it also became a place of defiance in the face of apartheid, you know, thinking about the 1956 march where Omama mobilized from Eastern Cape, Manyano, you know, to Omama Basipidor in Altridgeville, Bamat, Lep and Tap, you know, and they all gathered together and said, hey man, we're going to fight the system, right? So for me, it's an important day, you know, because I grew up seeing Abokoko every Thursday, but going to Samba to go into church and not knowing why. Why do you guys choose Thursday and all the churches? Why is it important that you guys go to church on this Thursday? And then being raised by a domestic myself, Abokoko, I'm in between 94 and 97, we lived in, on this Catholic church, right, in La Rochelle. So we stayed in her maid's quarters and she also got off on Thursday. And on that Thursday, because it's a Catholic church, all the women would gather, but we're in different uniforms inside this Catholic church. And I was like, this is weird, you know, you're like Catholics only on Thursday. <laughs> you know what I mean? That shit became weird for me, man. But as I grew older, I realized, oh snap, this is beyond religion. This is beyond church, it's beyond the house that this gathering is for, you know what I mean? And I embarked on this project, man, just to celebrate the day and celebrate the space it holds for women in society, or oh, mama, you know what I mean? Because our people can't afford therapy, bruh. our people can't really even talk to their own families, you know? But if they find a common gogo who has similar issues, that becomes therapy for them, you know what I mean? And if they can express that through praise and singing in between the therapy, then it's a sanctuary that we need to celebrate for our, our mothers, because they're the pillars of our society. So if this person is broken, 
the entire community is broken, you know what I mean? And we have not created safe spaces as a community for them, so therefore they've found their own safe space and I think it needs to be celebrated in that regard, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs>